So yeah. I got an email just now. Uh, that thing I ordered, they shipped it now. Okay. And the estimated delivery date? Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, November 29th. Um, so it's going to come today. Apparently. Oh, nice. Even though they just shipped it. Well, I mean, you know, time travel shipping. Yeah, it seems like those guys are really, are really, are really like um, shafting you, or as they call it, the London handshake, <laughs> <laughs> or as they call it, the chess directions. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Show Monster Story Two on the Mysterious GHE. I'm Zerful. So, um, yeah, the uh, not the home of the RPG Insane, but some other. Uh, more sane, less uh, charming source of information on this game uh, has indicated that they did not figure out what the seventh post... Because like, the prizes, you just keep getting better and better gems. But um, they didn't go beyond Rainbow Gem to find out what the prize is. I, I'm going to assume that the seventh prize, though, is probably I'm truly, gonna... truly outrageous. <laughs> I'm thinking you get a medal and then you're not allowed to play anymore because that's how these other quizzes. I mean, it, it might be a medal that's not available for another thing though, because one could of them be. is like that. So. It could be unobtainium. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, so this like this this video could be a nightmare of boring save scumming. Uh, depends on how many times you have to win because it does get more it does get more difficult each time. So we can or it could be a dream of horrible save scumming. It could be a dream of depending on how you feel about save scumming. But we are going to save scum. All right, so again, playing the fire altar game. Game start. Oh wow! You're doing fine. You pressed the correct buttons that during that round. I guess we don't. Wow! Get this dialogue won't change. <laughs> so we got. Yeah, especially when they back. have like a joke of "I think you're talking to me." They should kind of change it up. You would think so, like. Like or just have like, like maybe three or four different variations that they go between. But uh, yeah, we're, we got a Mega Topaz. Now we're gonna. At least this one gives you a prize each round rather than just being at the very end. Yep. Ah. Maybe you're distracting them, thunk. Don't get sassy. Hey, don't get sassy with me. I'll bop you one. Problem is, does it start from the beginning? If you, I think uh, it does. So let's confirm. And that's why you want to save, save scum. scum. Yeah. So we, yeah. So we need, we need absolute silence, quiet time, folks. All right, this is a, this is a GDQ run. We need quiet time right now. <laughs> Uh, no, I did it right. I guess I wasn't fast enough. The other thing, too, is if we save it right before they say game start, maybe it's locked in with the pattern. Um, that's a good idea. Like I said, guys, nightmare of saves coming. You can play along at home, folks, as well. You just gotta hold a fake controller in front of you and pretend you're player two uh, for an older brother. <laughs> and if you lose, just say that you got the second controller, which isn't as good as the first. <laughs> oh wow, you're you're raking them in now. Ice Jade. That's halfway there. Just over. Living on a prayer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Crimson Ruby. Yeah, there's not that much to it. Like, it's tough to be proud when you do well, and then it is frustrating when you don't. Because it's really just a, like it's not like an assignment game where you have to remember a long sequence. It's just there's more and more to do and less and less reaction time each time. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like I I know I hit the right button. I felt like I did it fairly quickly, but they're like, yep. Nope. 
And I, I don't think that was the same pattern, was it? No, I don't think so. It's probably based on whatever frame you hit the button. But you don't have time to save in between. Uh... No. Yeah, so this is where it just becomes like, how much do we want to know what this prize was? Because I actually am making mistakes now because I'm trying to be so fast. Okay. Instead of being so fast, be so fast and so accurate. I solved it. All right, so there's that only was, one more that level was the left. Rainbow diamond, right? Yeah. This is where we get to see. Oh shucks! I wish you would. What? Oh shucks! You I... must have said no. Did you hit B instead of A and automatically got a no? I don't think so. Now you gotta load the state again and do I load it again. Yeah, six this... again. This time I better. Okay, well this time I better. Uh... Oh wow! Now you're making me think it's just a fluke. You got a rainbow diamond. Um, now you're making me think that it's uh, actually is poorly translated. That there is no round after this, <laughs> and the people who wrote that guide got here and assumed that they hit the wrong button. Okay, that time I just wasn't ready. I was just, like actually still. Uh... Ah. I was close. I could feel it. But that was right, buddy. Folks at home would have gotten this done seven times already. I'm sure they would have. I'm sure you would have gotten it done negative four times. Negative four? What is this? A Super Mario 1 glitch? <laughs> yeah. You would have gotten it done sort of whitish block with a little bit of blue <laughs> times. <laughs> ah! I hit tricky. the down arrow instead of the downmost button. What this is proving is that if I do beat it, it never it doesn't mean I got good enough at the game. It just means I got it once. <laughs> well, it'll be twice now. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. No! Fuck you! I got it! <laughs> fuck you, Kant. Uh, well, calm down. There's no need to call him names. <laughs> There's no need to call him by his name. Okay, I'm saving. Yeah, save before you... Save before we hit anything. <laughs> oh, wow, you're doing fine. Not you. Oh, man. Okay, yes. Aw, shucks. Sure. I wish you would. Yee hee. Are you sure you didn't hit the B button instead of the A button? I hit the A button. I'm going to try hitting different buttons. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm saving state here. And now we find out, oh, there's a timer. If you time out, you don't go. I swear that was the same button I was hitting before. Oh, well. <laughs> I, whatever. Okay, now save state. No, I hit I hit B instead of A. Well, maybe they, they switched them on you. Oh, wow. That's fast. I believe in you, but only ever so much. <laughs> There's, you, you do not get given any time. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to pause and advance one frame at a time. I um, mean, I don't know how to play that game on this. Uh... Do I have that kind of special power here? Under emulate, is there a... What if... Oh! What if you go to... Frame advance. Oh, pause and frame advance. We could totally... 
Yeah. So you turn on pause first, and then you just advance it by frames while you're holding the right button. Pause. This is totally worth it, by the way. There's got to be a shortcut for that that you might be able to just hit on your keyboard. If you go to the settings. Or, do you know what we do? Um, just change the game speed to like running at like a quarter speed or something like that. Ah, uh, I see. I mean, I, I don't play with this thing too much. Emulation, settings. settings. And now I can't see the menu anymore, so you'll have to... Sub FX speed. Skip rendering. Rewind buffer size. Sub FX speed. What, um... Which is what, uh, 100%. Is you're using? Uh, SNEX 9X 1.6. I could, I could put super FX speed down to... 50. The super effect speed, I think, is just how fast the. Uh, yeah. It's just when you're playing like a super effects game. Um, apparently, use minus the minus key to slow down and the plus key to speed up the emulator if you want to use a keyboard shortcut. All right, we're at 25 ms per frame now. All right, 25 percent speed. This is a quarter speed. Can he do it? My God, he's a he's a genius. I've never seen a man with such fast thumbs in my life. I should stop be talking small. shit because I'll miss one. Slow. I whoa! It told me I missed one. I didn't. I think I hit it before it came out. <laughs> I knew when you started talking shit, I was gonna find a way to lose. And that one, I pressed down on like the first frame it was visible, and I think the game was like, "No, you the got game was like us too soon." I was gonna. I was trying to say I should talk slow because then we could just speed it up by twenty five percent, and everyone would think it's the real deal. The real deal. Oh man, Baby Bronco got a lot of entertainment out of me talking in slow mo last uh, <laughs> over the over <laughs> the Thanksgiving that, yeah. break. He was. We were doing this like three. Oh, I I did mess up that time. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing this Three Stooges in inspired game where he would punch my hand and I would either knock my hand into my own face or swing it around and hit him. But A, he preferred it when I hit myself and B, he wanted me to hit myself in slow motion and then do a slow motion like, oh, I am so hurt, what happened? He, that was like the funniest thing ever for him. If he saw this gameplay, he, was he would be bored and would start watching <laughs> A shorter let's play of a pithier game. What if we added Spider-Man and he got goo all over him? <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, wow! You're <laughs> doing fine! You pressed the buttons. You're <laughs> not going to frame <laughs> skip. Your buttons are turning that round. Not you, dingus. The devil's the devil not. Oh, yeah. Now, see, now, those guys who made the fact for this didn't have the dedication to have their friend from Canada tell them how to slow down the emulator. Yep. <laughs> Don't forget to speed it back up. Oh, I, I, think, another round. I think that's what I said. Like, not until I know there's not another round. Okay, that's, that's it. it. We got them. We've got the ultimate prize of the game. So equal key will bring you back, which is just shift plus. 50, 85. Oh, yes. It's just like real life now. Let's look at this item. Will you play the fire altar game? <laughs> we can play it again. No, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> We've already stolen your best prize. Who what knows what happens on the second pass? <laughs> oh, you get the devil's... Uh... The devil's white snot. <laughs> All I know about this thing is it sounds pretty neat. Magic. It's a charm. So basically, it. oh, it's the a charm Ernie for Ernie, Ernie only. Use. Magic and magic up. Only well, magic Ernie, Ernie also got the... Uh... This is this... Ernie's place. Maybe this is where he's from originally. It's a sizzling Ernie. Could be. Well, we don't really know what he looks like when he's outside of that uh, urn, except that yeah, we, good look 
We were told he does like have two wee beady eyes just pointing straight up. What these guys are beady little eyes. Have you met his honor, the elder? The game can't begin without all of us. Yep. Yeah, we say the same thing, even though clearly stuff has happened. Anyway, thanks for thanks for stealing the devil's snot. We've been trying to get this cursed item out of our possession for so long. The devil's snot. Sounds pretty neat. Alright, so now there's a there's a little room uh, that has another save point inside of it. There's some treasure chests located along the way. Otherwise, there's just a whole bunch of dead ends and eventually you get to the end of this place. So I guess we use the rest of this village to get as close as we can to the end that we have already seen in another reality. We will have uh, Jalama try to reduce the insane encounter rate around here. But sadly, we won't get any immediate use out of the Devil's Snot. After you sleep at an inn, call me again. Shall I need me to summon my services even sooner? Can we make it? I believe it's roughly up and to the right, but I don't know for sure. Received a colorful hat. Some of us saw a beautiful yellow flash into a big hole in the east. This happened right after a large chunk of the falling continent smashed it open. Not very long after that, we also spotted someone heading over that way to investigate. Cool beans. I don't remember having found this place. I'm not, I'm not at all confident about th that we went the right way. Like, and the effect has already expired. Did I get to this from some other funky direction? Hey, yeah, that's that's not that's not how we found this entrance before. Hmm. Is it? Oh no, I think it is. I think it is. Anyway, we should periodically have Rumi to the old hospice for all. I'd love to not be... Uh, I'd love to be running away from these guys, but running away never freaking works in this game. Is this a different entrance to the same village? What the hell? I don't remember. Okay. Uh, no, this is the mine. Okay, so I didn't. I don't remember this. We underworlders lived peacefully until you surface dwellers arrived, stealing all of our devil snot. Then that clown in the balloon showed up suddenly and put us to work mining photon oil. Received blood eye. Well, I mean, in fair, I, I guess it's fair to call him a clown. He's that clown of a man. The Clown Prince of Crime. Photon oil provides fuel to light lamps, but requires many thousands of years to form. It's embedded in certain rock formations, and we have no easy task extracting it. It's also a finite resource, but we're not getting preachy about that at this time. Maybe you later. fall onto that treasure? Uh, I guess no, you, just get it you could, but <laughs> why? I guess this isn't an old mine that's falling apart. Hey, it's a wind staff. <laughs> Man, I thought we'd get like a red gem from uh, Illusion of Gaia, or maybe a uh, a stamp there. Not this time. Photon oil is quite plentiful in the other world, but I uh, gather it's rather scarce on the surface. I heard Jordan's henchmen say it's worth the king's ransom up there. Is that true? I don't know. Let's ask the king. Hey, a mega topaz, nice. <laughs> you received a king's ransom of worth of. Hey, we got the Starmer. <laughs> okay, so I'm liking this place because the encounter rate seems to be zero. We already talked to this guy. Okay, let's jump and check in. Oh yeah, so uh, we all like I don't remember finding this place in our uh, lost episodes. So 
I guess it's nice we found it. It doesn't seem to have any bearing on the story. We just kind of missed this little corner of the of the world. Because if you head in the correct direction to advance, which is kind of down this way, you uh you don't see any of that. No. Which is weird that they'd have like a well, I guess it adds a little bit of flavor to it, but you think they'd have you just walk through the mine to get to the next section instead. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, that's I think that would be your normal dungeon design. Like, you remember in Final Fantasy One how there's like a little mermaid town at the bottom of the sea shrine? And you go up yep. to get to Kraken. Like, do you have to go to the little town at the bottom, or is it just this would be an old question. Um I remember that being there and being like, oh, this is kinda cool, but it's a pain in the butt to get to, and I, like, years later, I wondered, like, did you even come here? I think you might have. I think there might have been, like, some item you couldn't advance. Couldn't progress without. Yeah. All right, well, the Abat. Avatar is, uh, poison I think this is just where we can use uh, another... Yeah, we can get Jamalified here. Confirm there's nothing over there. That's a show house is what we want. <laughs> Gotta min-max this thing. Get outside of the place. Turn this corner. Damn it. Okay. Anybody poisoned? No. Okay. But don't waste don't waste a step inside that place where the encounter rate was zero. Apparently a helicopter going by. In the dungeon? So we saw a little cave over here. I don't know that it matters, but we'll visit. It got treasure chests we've already got. <sighs> and the effects is better. I think you could find what those treasure chests were in the guide, the walkthrough. It doesn't really matter. There was nothing. Yeah, let me see. Here. So these underwater enemies do not give you mega topazes when you gem them. So every time I saw them, I got annoyed. So I was like, oh man, I can't get mega topazes from these jerks. Or rainbow And uh, they don't, gems. um... They don't have a ton of uh, uh, pearls on them either. But we did get some level ups. And you might have seen there, folks. Uh, so yeah, we got. I think we've we've seen all the ones that were possible around the mine area. But do and you then see in the underground village? What's we got down the, to the right there. Oh man! Big J. Yeah, that's where we're heading. Big J's there. Big, J, big J for big jerk. So there's a rainbow hat. There's some jewel short swords. Well, we got that. We did find the uh, colorful hat, which I didn't bother to see if it's good for anybody. Uh, I just kind of ignored it. There's also a shadow dancer, which I think is just called Shadow Knife or something like that. Uh, fairy RX and a guard knuckle. Shadow knife, I believe we got, because I believe we got it equipped on her. She's yep. got a colorful hat already, and so if we found another one, was uh <laughs> Yeah, so nothing too major. Nothing you can't uh, just get somewhere else. And I think I'm going to need to um Cospus roll. Yes, but I think I'm also going to want to change our macro. Because Are we doing more cat damage dances. to ourselves than there? I can't just have her use an item, huh? I guess because it, it wouldn't know that we can keep them. Never mind. She was doing cat dance, which doesn't seem to be working often, but I thought she might have been stealing every turn, and she's not. She's doing something vaguely useful towards winning battles. I mean, you can always have her just go into full counter mode, and then if anyone attacks her, she's going to counterattack instead of taking damage. 
We're taking a beating from these enemies too. They ain't kidding around. Actually, to them, this is a joke. <laughs> For me, it was Tuesday. Of course it. But wow! They couldn't see them. They did a. They wiped out my freaking party. Oh, this is not good news. Well, they're almost dead, so you should survive. Although I think Avad has the spell that brings people back to life. Uh... Yeah, I'll throw on a save stage just in case. No. That truly was the last slash those enemies ever saw. Boom. They were entirely roasted. You know what? Hospital on it's all not four that people expensive. Once might actually be. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's that's like forty eight MP. She's got six hundred, and uh, magic yeah. restoring things aren't that expensive. We have them out the wazoo. We could use them for cheating at chess. So the <laughs> those have to be inside the wazoo. Up the wazoo. <laughs> so these are the guys that you use the gem spell on that's truly outrageous and they become rainbow gems. But as you can see, they go before you and they usually cast repel magic, which makes the gem spell not work. So save scumming against these guys is what got us the rainbow jewels needed for us to do that boring ass thing where we showed you that surgery in this game doesn't work. Anyway, I think we're actually getting fairly close. Now, ideally what we could do, if this video went a few minutes long, we could get to where we ended up last time. The cat dance is supposed to cancel the enemy action, so if it does work... Yeah, it's a cage... It's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, it's, it sometimes works, sometimes... It, when it does work, it's handy. And it, it has a chance of working on each character, uh, which means sometimes it'll hit just one or two, but not all, and it's still... Okay. I think the real problem is her speed isn't high enough now, so she goes after everybody already did stuff. Yeah. So then that leads to it failing almost all the time. Well, it means that if they... Like, it could cancel their next turn, if we're lucky, but... I don't know if it goes to the next turn. Maybe it does. Damn, those guys just kill uh, our lady friends. They kill our lady friends. What up with that? Why are you killing our lady friends? Oh, this is another one of those, like... There's a decent amount in having, either Having been through this sort of crap for like... Yeah. A month of sessions straight. <laughs> we're kind of done with... Yeah. Done with walking around in caves. It's only half a month for the folks at home, but for us, it's been a month and well, a half or something like that. Yeah, it's been a... Uh, Shamil's level 50! And this is the thing, like, this, there's nothing here. Okay. Well, this enemy doesn't see us, though. Yeah, I was going to just skip this fight, but now I'm like, eh, okay, they don't see us. Let's actually just take the experience. Call it a win. Yeah, if we get the slow enemies and she cat dances first, it normally isn't that bad. We might have, and I think we, uh... So one thing that happened with our last video that, that disappeared into the ether is... We kept searching the final three quarters or so of the cave over and over and over for this little village, which was actually very close to the end. Way earlier. So that was just kind of made it worse than it needed to be. Panacea! This has all been worth it now. Because now we're close to the end, and it, it probably doesn't... Like, with the magic of frame skip, probably doesn't seem like we really had that much. No, this, this cave took us forever. Yeah. And I say we're almost at the end. I sure hope I'm right, and there's not like, oh, no, I forgot about four more branching paths. No, because I think we came this way, and we thought we were at a dead end, and then we noticed a little bit of yeah. glowing there. So even when you finally get the way you need to go, the game still tries to make you turn around and go back. Yep. 
Well, I mean, in fairness, it's trying to do like a, you know. Um, that guy is so unaffected by the battles that he's still walking around. Yeah. more transition. You don't even care. Of all things, a huge castle plunged into the underground. Not to mention a big bird. And boy, is it neon. What does it say? Neon big bird? In the 80s called, they want their bird back. Man, neon big birds out there trying to get kids to take vaccines. Joe Biden's taking over Sesame Street. Okay. Uh, oh, she's all grayed out here. Her power is... It's been taken away from us, but we could still use the power of Andre. Hey, they should have combined her with um, the monkey. They should have combined her with the old man from the last game, where like she she keeps makes the monster stay away, but then when she's out of power to do that, she comes and just like, oh, I can't do that right now. But here's a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Zerfall. Um, so these two uh, two atoms are at a bar, and uh, first atom says the second atom. Uh, hey, I think I lost uh, an electron. And the second Adam says, are you sure? And the first Adam says, I'm positive. Ooh. Got another one for you. <laughs> a uh, Roman centurion walks into a bar, sticks out two fingers, and says, five beers, please. That's a kind of a visual joke, folks. You gotta actually stick out like two fingers and then think about it for a second. But speaking of visuals, I see a horrifying visual on our horizon right now. I am uh, really not sure how excited I am about facing Jodan again, but uh, I'm gonna have to overcome my fears and my boredom <laughs> and take him on next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.